Okay. Uh, so, uh, take the time for five minutes. Ready? Yes, thanks. Okay. Let's see. Hello. 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 Coming in and take a seat, please. Nice uh, to see you today. How thank can I you. help you? Uh, well, doctor, you know this is my um, my eyesight. You know, I've got this uh, visual problem, uh, which my eye gets a bit blurry, and um, because I get prescription lenses, so I need a referral to see uh, to get an eye examination. Mm -hmm. I am sorry to hear that, but before we go further, uh, I would like to ask you some question, if you don't okay. mind. No, not at all. Go ahead, please. Uh, you told that uh, you have a uh, blurry eye, yes? Uh, yes. And also, I have actually uh, lost a few kilograms of... Uh, I don't exercise, you know, but uh, I'm sitting all the time, but I have lost some weight. And I'm very stressed. Yes. And, mm -hmm. and uh, I would like to know about... Uh, when, did, when did it start? Uh, I don't know. It's just maybe a few weeks. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. A few weeks ago. And uh, then any other symptoms? Do you have any other symptoms like um, tiredness or, or dry mouth? Uh, yeah, or, I'm, al uh, I'm always tired, you know, it's um, because, I, you know, I can't sleep very well at night because I'm very stressed and I have to get up at night and go uh, to the bathroom uh, a few times. Uh-huh. And um, have you been under stress recently at work or at uh, home? Always. I'm always stressed, you know, and, and work is, uh, is too much, really. Mm-hmm. And do you have any medical condition? Uh, I mean, like high blood pressure or high blood sugar? Uh, no, no, I'm healthy. Healthy, that's good to note it. And have you taken any medication? Um, no, just vitamins. I take daily vitamins. Vitamins. And uh, any uh, family history problem? Family history? Um, my father had high blood pressure and he had a stroke um my mother had uh so i think her blood sugar was high i think she had diabetes or something mm -hmm. uh, diabetes. that's mm -hmm. right yes and uh, okay see if i have understood correctly you have blurred vision uh, for about uh, two weeks and uh, you feel um, tired and stressed recently uh, you don't exercise and uh, you don't take an, do, don't take any medication. Is that right? Yes, it is correct. And your mother has diabetes. Um, okay? I, yes, she used to. Yeah, she's dead now. Uh, oh, I am yes. sorry to hear that. It's okay. Okay, uh, now I am going to examine you if you don't mind. Mm, not at okay? all. Okay, my examination is over. And um, it is normal. Uh, I think um, I, w I want to know uh, what do you think about your uh, blurred vision? Uh, well, I think it's uh, my eye. Um, I think it's, um, yeah, I just probably need some ch new glasses. I don't know. Yes, uh, because I can't see mm -hmm. the computer properly, you know, and I, I work with the computer all the time. Mm -hmm. You have been working with computer. You? Yes, uh, okay. Uh, I uh, think that um, we, before that, uh, we need a blood test for you. I think um, you should do a blood test uh, for, for my blood eye, sugar. A blood test, sorry? Uh, uh, yes, for your eyes, blood sugar, because I uh, think uh, bl uh, blurry vision uh, can be one of the first warning signs of uh, diabetes. Is that okay with you? Uh, uh, well, uh, so what what do you say? I, I just need some reading glasses. You know, it's. Uh, I don't think I need any blood test or anything. I'm I'm healthy. Yes, uh, I can totally understand your concern. But let me explain uh, to you that you have some risk factors for diabetes, like uh, you do not exercise. You have diabetes in your family, and uh, you have a blurred vision. And recently, you have uh, weight loss. Is that right? Uh, 
Uh, yes, it is. But uh, does that mean that I have diabetes? Oh, well, no, no, it doesn't mean. But uh, the first uh, important thing in this condition uh, for us is to check your blood sugar level. And I want uh, that it is a so simple test. I can prick your fingertip with a needle and, and uh, take a one drop of your blood and check a glucose for it. Is that okay with you? Okay. Okay, doctor. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And after okay. that, I can refer to you uh, to a uh, ophthalmologist for further investigation. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Is that right for you? Yes, sure. Do you think you can do that? Yes, of course. Yes. Okay, that's good. Do you have any other question? No, that's it, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Okay. Uh, Good. So, how did you feel? Not bad, I Good. Okay, so you had prepared that? Uh, yes, doctor. Yes. Okay. So, uh, your feeling was okay. Uh, you said good. Um, so, uh, did you de do anything well? Uh, I think everything was good. <laughs> everything was good. Okay. Uh, anything could be better? Um, maybe grammar and fluency, I think. Uh, okay. Grammar and fluency. Uh, okay. Uh, right. So, uh, right. Let's hear from others. Uh, okay. What do you think? Uh, Who's next? Uh, uh, I think was good, uh, but uh, in the first part, uh, when when she was uh, she went to Rapo with the patient, uh, she talked very quickly, and uh, she didn't allow the patient uh, say hello to her. Uh, and uh, in giving uh, and in gathering information, uh, she forget to ask about the job of the patient and the age of the patient. Uh, well, age, uh, sh she already knows because it's uh, uh, suburban pra practice. But uh, um, job, mm, yeah, probably, yeah, could ask about job uh, because but he said he's sitting all the time anyway. Uh, okay, anything else? I think all of them was good, but I didn't hear sign posty. Okay. Um, did we have any sign posting? Uh, yes, I mean, at some point she actually uh, summarized, but uh, yeah, except for that, uh, we didn't have uh, sign posting in other parts. Where, for example, could you tell me? Where she could use with, uh, she could do signposting. Uh, let's check your blood glucose. Yes, after she said that it is because of diabetes, like this. Okay. Or, um, or about why it is, uh, we think it is because it is diabetes because of some risk factors. Okay. Maybe. Uh, well, basically, um, I think when you uh, basically the patient is asking for uh, a referral to uh, for eye test, so uh, w the patient has an expectation, okay, and his idea is that um, this is simply because of um, aging and it's uh, basically he just needs some reading glasses. He doesn't have any worries. Um, so, um, you are going to tell the patient that um, he actually needs to do a test, which is something that the patient didn't request. So, the first thing you need to do is actually t uh, tell the patient that, okay, we can send you 
uh, we can refer you for um, an eye check but uh, let me tell you something or let me um, I, I need to discuss something with you okay so uh, basically um, uh, you actually say that okay um, there's no problem with referral for eye check but uh, we need something and then uh, you add and you say that oh, so you have signed your signposting that uh, that's okay with your uh, request but now there's something that I as a doctor I am responsible to tell you okay okay so uh, that would be signposting and it is appropriate because uh, if you just say, uh, well, no, uh, you, you can't have an eye test. No, we don't want that. We, we can't say that, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, or uh, we need to first mention patient's request and then uh, add to that and say, okay, now let me tell you something uh, which is important, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, right, okay, good. Uh, anything else? No. No? What do you think? Uh, doctor, for signposting, when uh, Susan said that, let me explain for you, uh, explain to you more. Uh, is it, uh, isn't it a signposting? It is, yes. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, yes, but, when... Uh, yeah, but uh, what we also need uh, is uh, to say, uh, I mean, this is a signpost, to say that, okay, there's no problem with the eye test, we can do that, okay? So you need to signpost. But you, uh, she left it to the end and say, okay, uh, we can send you, okay? But we need, it, uh, we need it earlier. After you examine the patient, you can say, you, you need to say, okay, mm, and I have checked you, uh, we can send you for uh, for an eye test, but I think uh, you, you need something else. Okay. Mm -hmm. Doctor, could yes. you please uh, tell us more examples for signposting in this case? Okay. Uh, well, uh, so the first thing is, I mean, uh, basically, uh, between the different parts of the consultation, uh, you say. Mm -hmm. Uh, so at first uh, she said, uh, let me ask you some questions first. Is that okay? Uh, would you mind? And I said, no, I don't mind. That's fine. It's a signpost, which is good. Mm -hmm. So the next, the next step is uh, you ask open questions and then yeah. after uh, the, the patient finishes, you say, well, I need to ask you some more questions. And these are uh, the closed questions. After you finish with them, you summarize and it's a signpost. You say, okay, so this is what I uh, understood, and now uh, let me examine you. After examination, you say, okay, now that I have examined you, um, now I need to tell you something. Uh, we can send you for an eye, uh, for an eye check, that is fine, but uh, with what you have uh, described, I highly suspect you might uh, have... Um, um, another illness, or you you might have a diabetes. So uh, we need to check you for diabetes as well because your mother had it, and because you have symptoms which are which can be uh, diabetes. Uh, so uh, this would be a signpost to say, well, that's okay with the eye check, but we need to do something. Else, okay. Uh, okay. Also, so after that, then you uh, you now you chunk can check you chunk can check, but uh, uh, how can we chunk and check? We say uh, uh, so. You say uh, would you agree to that? And the patient says no. I think I just need an eye check, and uh, then you need to say okay, uh, listen. Uh, this is for your own interest, this is for your own good and uh, because uh, if it is uh, diabetes then uh, even glasses wouldn't help you much so uh, we need to check that. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, yeah, I mean uh, she did do signposting uh, at, at the beginning which was very good and then uh, maybe we could say this was the structure that uh, you need to first reassure the patient about their request uh, and say, okay, we can do that. That is no problem. But 
uh, what is more important is uh, the possibility of diabetes. Uh, so, okay. Uh, is that okay? Yes, thank yes, you. Okay. Thanks a lot. So, it was great. Okay, good. So, uh, what, uh, so the information giving, um, was it okay? Um, yes, doctor. Um, first of all, she asked uh, what do you think about your blurry vision and yeah. uh, established initially. And uh, I think she paused uh, particularly. And uh, also, uh, she checked a uh, patient, and I, uh, I think it was, uh, um, it was good doctor. She did yeah. well. I think she did very well. I think uh, it yeah. was very good. Uh, yeah. uh, it's, uh, it's just uh, um, just a few grammatical problems uh, and some, as you said, some fluency. Now, uh, remember, we say uh, you told, no, you said, okay? Or uh, you can say, um, as you said, or what you said was, okay? Not, not told. Uh, you, we say, I told you, you told yes. me. Uh, right. Uh, so, um, yeah. The overall, I think it was good. Now, I, I want to give you um, uh, some advice on your um, uh, on your intonation and on assimilation. Okay. Um, so, uh, uh, you said you asked me, uh, would you mind? If I asked you uh, a few more questions, yeah? Yes. So, say it. Uh, would you mind if I ask you some questions? A few more questions. A few more questions. Okay. Uh, so basically, uh, you say, would you mind? You say these three together. Okay. Would you mind? Yes. Would you, would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? If I ask you, if I ask you, okay. So these three together. If I ask you, and then a few more questions. Okay. A few more questions. Yes. So uh, basically, we we cut this. Uh, we need to say the words together. Mm -hmm. Would you mind? Would you mind if I ask you a few more questions? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, which one is louder? Would you mind? Would you mind? Mind? Would you mind? Okay. Yes. If I asked you, if I asked ask. you, if I asked you, if I if I asked you, okay, a few more questions, a few more questions, because it's a question, it's a uh, rising intonation, and you see, this is a verb. This is a verb. This is a noun. So we say this louder, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, we say the other ones uh, um, quieter. So basically, the the part of the uh, sentence which is noun and verb, we say them louder, okay? Would you mind? Would you mind if I ask you a few more questions? Okay. Uh, so um, that is the music. Would you mind if I ask you a few more questions? Okay. Uh, say that. Would you mind if I ask you a few more questions? Questions. <laughs> questions. questions. Okay. Questions. Okay. Yes. Not questions. Questions. It's questions. a. It's a rising intonation. Okay. Mm -hmm. You. Uh, not questions. 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 Okay. Good. Questions. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Good. Uh, so, would you mind if I ask you a few a few more questions? Um, Sometimes, uh, even if you use would you mind, uh, uh, you can actually use uh, a, a falling intonation. Uh, would you mind telling me more about uh, your sleep uh, at night? Okay. So, um, basically, let's say, would you mind telling me, telling me more about your sleep at night, okay? Now, uh, I say it in a falling intonation because actually uh, 
I'm giving an order. I'm not actually, this is not a question. I'm saying, would you mind telling me more about you sleep at night? Okay. Uh, okay. So it means, uh, basically, it means tell me more about you sleep at night. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, more about you sleep. Okay, so uh, basically, um, uh, but we don't say it. Tell me more. Tell me more about your sleep. Okay, tell me more about your sleep. So, would you mind telling me more about your sleep at night? Okay, so this is falling intonation. So, if it's a real question, you need to say more questions. Uh, you need to rise your tone. If it's not a question, you just you use falling intonation. And although it looks like a question, it is not really a question. It is a suggestion or it is a, um, a request. Okay. Good. Uh, so, yeah, you can, if you change your intonation a little bit, uh, just, just practice it. Uh, uh, look at the sentences. And at first, uh, uh, make it bigger, okay? You say, would you mind, would you mind, if I ask you, if I ask you, so, uh, after a while you get used to it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you can say it uh, uh, more naturally, okay? Mm 